<laughs> Let's play! Whoa! Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, you all may call me Pharaoh, and welcome back to Let's Play One Shot. Last time left off, a lot of things just kind of went screwy, basically. Um, the prototype profit bot basically explained what was going on in this world, which is basically a simulation called the World Machine. And that the only one who's real here is basically Nico, and it's basically our fault that we keep restarting sessions, and I'm all over the place. But basically, um, we're in the Glen now, because we have to escape from all the corruption that's happening now. And we need to find some dude named Cedric, I believe by the city gate, and give him the memory disc. So... Yeah, wait a minute. Looks like parts of the ground is missing. I wonder if it's safe to walk across these vines. One way to find out, I guess. They're safe. Oh, thank God. So... I'm trying to remember where this was in our initial playthrough. Um... Is this the ruins? No, it's the gate itself. Never mind. Who are you? I have lost communication with the Guardian outside the city gate. The... big robot, right? Please help me check on them. I cannot leave my station. Alright. So I have to go check on the dude, okay. Because there was an area, I think it's here right by... Calmus and Alula's home is where that grave site was at. So... Oh, he's corrupted. Isn't that the city gate? It's... Yeah, it's totally messed up. Um, can I even talk to him? Please do not approach. The gate is closed until further notice. Oh, man. I don't think the game will, like, allow me to even touch the evil blocks anyway, so I think we're okay. There's a bed. Should I try sleeping? Um, yeah, why the hell not? Okay. We'll just boot the game right back up to see what happens. Oh. Nothing. I mean, hold on a minute. There we go. Uh, yeah, nothing happened. He just walked right back out from the bed, so... Nothing to do there. Uh, is there really not much else to do? Uh, we can't even walk past that. The bridge is broken. And I don't know what else Cedric's at. I'm hoping he's, uh, by the other robot. Um, because I can't do anything else. Not to my knowledge, I didn't see anything. So, excuse me. We'll tell him what happened. There's squares all over the big robot. Ah, that is outside my capacity for help. You may proceed to the deeper ruins. All right. Well, I would say I hope this gets solved, but I, the way this the world is kind of breaking down, I don't think that's the case. Now, this is where we saved Alula, but we can't even get in there now. I hope she's still not stuck there, though. Now, their home, I think it was to the right. It doesn't even look like I can get there. It was right here. So, like, remember how we kicked the block? Um, because that was kind of like a funny scene. It's like... I can't believe I didn't figure that out on my own. Hello, person. Two children reside near here. Yeah, I think it was right here. The pathway is blocked. By blocks! Wait a minute. I remember something about this. Never knew it would be so easy. Oh, that's great. Ow, my foot, ow. <laughs> Good job, Nico. Oh, the door. 
I knew we'd lose our home eventually, but I wasn't expecting it to happen so soon. Oh, jeez! Uh, are you guys okay? Oh my, oh my stars! You're the savior! <gasps> um, uh, it's an honor to meet you. Yes! I'd invite you inside, but as you can see, our home is... It's got squares in it! Yes, Alula, thank you. It's getting everywhere now, isn't it? Hmm? The squares. There are way more than before. Even the gate to refuge is destroyed now. That didn't happen last time. Last time? Uh, nothing. Uh, almost let that slip, Pharaoh. I mean, that's not on me, that's on you. Guess I should reduce myself again. My name's Nico. Nico. Oh gosh, would it be, would it not be rude to call you by name? No worries, Calamus. How'd you know my name? I, um, uh, again? The Messiah just knows these things, Calamus. Right? Yes, of course. Phew. Uh, you were saying about the gate? Oh, right. It looks like I can't get in the city through the old gate anymore. Do either of you know another way to get in? I remember, I mean, I heard that there's some sort of hidden passage around here somewhere. Oh, the passage to the bur burial grounds. That's the one. Oh, but I'm not sure if you'll be, it'll, it'll be any use to you. Uh, or here. It's been flooded for a long time and there's no boat. Not to mention the burial grounds itself is pretty far from the city. That's okay. I'll still like to see it. It's the only lead we have. All right, in that case, please follow us. So we are visiting the places that we couldn't go to before. Oh, I love this. All right, let's see where it was exactly, because I even I can't remember. At least the courtyard's unaffected by it for now. We usually get to the burial grounds through our friend, but he hasn't been here in forever. Normally, this courtyard will be where we meet, meet up. I hope he comes back soon. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, what worries me, he said in one of his notes that he left the swirl on his own will. So it's like, I don't know, uh, did he, I mean, easy to say, I mean, or most realistically, did he kill himself here? I hope not, but maybe he didn't see a proper way to... I, I, I actually don't know. It's another image? Nico! Nico, what's wrong? You look like you're about to faint. Uh, it's not the first time it's happened. Oh? Earlier, I was in the Barrens, and I... I saw something like this, too. It was like a dream, but only for a split second. Sounds like a vision. Like something a prophet would see. I guess? The robot lady I was with earlier had a fancy word for it, though. Wait. Let me check something. Is it glowing? Sure enough. Oh! I was right! Huh? When I had the vision back at the Barrens, the book started glowing too. I wanted to see if I could get it to happen again, and... Where'd you get that? Oh, um... I had it with me when I woke up in this world. It looks like one of our friend's books. Except it's glowy! That's what the lady said too. He... Hmm... Pharaoh, let's see if we can do anything in the journal in this room. I... It's hard for me to tell there's a black clover lying around, but let me just take a look at the glowing journal. It... So was that supposed to be like a boat or something in the top right showing up? 
Oh, wait, I think I just saw. I think it. I think I'm on it right now. Yes. Okay. I was barely able to see it when it, uh, when I was coming back into the screen. There was like a flash. It kind of made it a little bit easier to tell. Whoa! How did that book get there? Uh, boats, I should say. Okay, I'm pretty sure it has to do with this journal now. The exact same thing happened back at the Barrens. Seriously? The journal is glowing, so I wanted to take a closer look at it. Then, I found a page that looked like a drawing of the room we were in, and then... A minecart showed up. What? What? That sounds freaky. No, it doesn't. Pharaoh must have done something. Still... Hey, we have a boat now! We can go to the burial grounds and visit Mom again! But... Come on, Calamus! Nico and Pharaoh were with us! Well... If Pharaoh made the boat appear, it should be safe. What... Do you think, Pharaoh? Yeah, hold on, but actually before we do that... I want to head back out just to investigate a little bit more. Um... I want to head back down from the ruins to see if there's anything there because um, just to, just to make sure I, I didn't miss anything, you know. Uh, although I'm pretty sure we're going the right way, and I'm not sure if the game would punish us per se if we missed out on something, but I just want to check down here if it'll let me. Yeah, is Maze here? Cause I I did was it like a kind of like a side quest that I regrew her? Yeah, she's right here. Savior, you're here to save see me. What happened to you? Hold on. I need to concentrate. Hmm. The islands will collapse if I don't do something. That's why the vines... You're making the vines grow. Is that why there are vein vines everywhere? Are you trying to hold the land together? My powers, the best I could do. Yes. That's... Should I leave the sun here for you? I know you wanted to see it. Tempting. But I mustn't. The sun brings me comfort, but... Stress is good. For this. Fear is good. Makes me strong. Vines grow faster. But... If I'm at ease, the veins might retreat. The vines. I keep saying veins. They're all in danger, Savior. The villagers, the children, my final hours mustn't go to waste. My people deserve to live, even if just for another day. Do not worry, I'm fine. Okay. I'm actually really glad that I did this then. Um. So I'm assuming she might have opened up a, another path for me using the vines. So, man, as much as I would like to keep going with Calamus and uh, Alula, I want to go back up here because I believe, what, there was like one area where, I think it was like, there was a bridge uh, to the left that I could not... Um, get past because it was broken. So I want to see maybe that's somehow fixed. And even if it's not, I mean, we're just double checking here. It's no, no big harm. Nope. nope. Guess, guess it didn't work. All right. Sorry, that was a little bit of a waste of time, but um. Or maybe I needed to do that cutscene anyway, and, and maybe it will show me something later? I don't know. 
But regardless, it's okay. I mean, what's nice is, as you guys can tell, it doesn't take very long to navigate this game uh, in just various areas, so even if you have to wait like an extra minute or two, it's really nothing major. Um, I know there's a lot of games nowadays, especially those huge open world ones, even with fast travel, it can feel like a chore moving from one place to another. So, this is kind of nice. And here we are. Let's go ahead and get in the boat and uh, visit a burial ground. We can leave whenever you're ready. Can we go yet? Let's go. Here we go! Oh, I, I keep keep forgetting that I have to net move this myself. And I, I love the new visuals, too. Never realized how just how baggy the clothes are on Nico, but <laughs> look at his eyes, like, whoa. Alright. Let's see how this looks. Pretty dark in here. Actually, I can't I just had I just gotta move straight. Um I couldn't move up or down. We made it! Come on, Alula. Let's go pay our respects. Okay. It's a gravestone. Man. Oh. You know, I think I've played, I went through this game so far, and I have not even mentioned once about the music. Like, or, or maybe I did here and there, but... It's weird. Like, the music can sometimes be a little unnerving, can be a little haunting. But other times, like this... It's soothing, calming, um... Kind of puts my mind at ease, I guess. I mean, all very cliche, I, I understand. You know, like, well, at least cliche in terms of how I'm describing it, but... I really, really do enjoy the music in this game. And I am, you know, a stickler for video game soundtracks and whatnot, so... It's you! Huh? You, um... My name's Nico. Ah! Nice to finally meet you. Uh, no, wait. It's a pleasure to be of acquaintance at last, Nico. My name's Cedric. Oh! I'm supposed to be looking for you, too. I'm aware. Prototype had contacted me earlier, saying that you would be on your way to the city. He did? He sent me a message after his memories were restored. Oh. He told me to wait in the city, but I thought it'd be faster for me to pick you guys up first. Or pick you guys up. Turns out, that was a terrible idea. Pick us up? Wait, you can fly that plane? What? is a plane. That thing behind you! Oh, you mean a flying machine? They're called planes in my world. Oh. I did not realize they exist in other worlds. Wait! Wait! Are you the friend of Calamus and Alula we're talking about then? Is this the same flying machine they were talking about? I do not know anyone named Calamus or Alula. I think they're meant to be friends with my father. Wait. Whoa, what? In previous iterations of the... Your father? He was the original owner of the flying machine. It's one of his greatest inventions, actually. Your dad invented planes? The flying machine. It's cool either way! Thanks? Uh, but to answer your question earlier, I am proficient operating the machine. But something weird happened to the engine when I was in the air earlier. I had to make an emergency landing on this tiny island before I crashed into the city hall, city wall. You almost crashed? That's terrible! It was not pleasant, I will admit. I wonder if the engine problems had to do with the square particle disruptions. I checked, but 
there isn't any of that square stuff inside the machine itself. But I noticed some islands in the Glen are really messed up now. They are... Uh, I guess I should have listened to Proto in the first place. Say, where is he? He said he was coming with you. Is he still back in the main island? Oh, actually... Back in the Barrens, he... There was a cave-in, and then a bunch of squares. He... and a robot lady... Neither of them made it out. Oh... Uh, no... Uh, he... He did give me this, though. D this disc he pulled from his head. Oh! Oh, thank goodness. He gave you his main drive. As long as I have this, I should be able to bring him back. Really? It's gonna be hard, but yes. You need all three of us for the big door. The... But first things first, we need to find a way to get go to the city. Right. The city gate is kind of a kaput now. If this machine is working, we would just fly right in there. I've isolated the issue with the machine, but I can't repair with the stuff I have on hand. Oh? What's wrong with it? The battery engine is dead, and the engine has some gears that need to be replaced. Do you think you'll be able to fix it if Pharaoh and I help you find those things? Maybe. Problem is, the Glen isn't exactly a very high-tech area. Uh, I'm not sure if you'll be able to find anything so specialized here. We'll try anyway! We can't really do anything else right now. So we need to find a battery and gears. Okay. Sorry, I forgot. What parts do we need to find again? A battery for the engine and a few gears to replace the broken ones. If you can find me the parts I need, I should be able to get this machine off the ground again. Okay. Looks like a piece from a plane. A crowbar. It's a plane! Flying machine! Right. I don't know what the hell you're so anal about it, it's just... It's whatever. Just a wrench. It's a fire! Okay, well, we know where Cedric's at, but now we just gotta find the... Battery and um, gears. Although there wasn't really much else to explore, so let's go over here and I guess uh, talk to Alula and Calamus. But first, I, I know it probably does not mean anything by checking all the gravestones, but I just want to be thorough. If it's only going to take me a few seconds, then I might as well do it, get out of the way. Um, it just. It's how I operate. <laughs> okay. So, there we, there we go. Hey, do you guys know where I could find a battery? Good question. We don't really use electricity in the Glen. Uh, oh, but there's robots at a research station. If there's a battery anywhere, you, they know where it is. Gotcha, thanks. Do you know where I could find some gears? Gears? What's that? It's like the, a middle circle thing with teeth. A circle with teeth? <laughs> that sounds so silly. Like something Magpie would have. Magpie? You know, the trader guy. He collects all kinds of funny stuff. I mean, he even keeps around broken glass and junk. Oh yeah! I think I know what you're talking about. He's such a weirdo. Okay. Oops, I didn't mean to click on her again, but... Alright, so I know how... I know those two areas, but aren't they affected by the... Corruption? Maybe it's a little bit different now. Um... There's only one way to check out. M maybe, maybe, maybe... Now that I did this cutscene... Like, it triggered something, I should say. Um... Uh, especially even visiting Maze, that might have helped things along. Um, but actually, since I'm already here, it's not going to hurt if I visit her one more time. Just be absolutely certain that I need to do this to move forward. 
Because I, I know the resource station is just right below us once we pass the bridge. Hello. I, um, have something to ask of you. Yes? It looks like most of the bridges around the Glen are broken, and... That's right. The bridges. You need to cross them on your pilgrimage. Would you like me to fix them? Yeah! I is it possible? Difficult. Bridges are in, are in very specific locations over water. You need to find the right points. Vines must be very strong, too. In undertaking. Oh, but possible. I intend to use the last of my strength. Eh. Please stand back. Uh, what happened? Are you okay? Are you? Maze? <sighs> Once again, if we are to believe this is just a simulation, it's... it's very bothersome, though. It doesn't matter if this is fake, it still... hurts that there's this suffering and... just... Overall crappiness going on around here. I mean, I'm. I hope I'm doing the right things around here, but I, I just don't know. Um. At least we can say her. If you want to say her sacrifice was not in vain, hopefully we're we're about to check right now to see if the bridges were made. And yes, look right there. She did it. Oh man, this game is it's it's definitely making me feel things. Which... But I'm I'm glad. I mean, I I'm thoroughly enjoying this experience and I hope you guys are as well. Um definitely an interesting one. Uh you know what? I would continue a little bit longer, but I'm actually going to go ahead and call it a video for for today. Uh, I feel this is a good stopping point and at the same time it's getting close to a half hour, and I need to go to bed. It is pretty late, and I gotta wake up for work in the morning. So, next time we will, um, oh shoot, I was gonna say, we, we'll keep investigating the, the Glen. Hopefully we can find a battery and, and the, um, and the gears. What, what, I feel like there's gonna be like a pattern here, maybe like two episodes in each area. Um, it's like an hour each, basically, um, to f get where we need to go, and then, uh, I don't know, I mean, I'm, I'm curious to see what's gonna happen, like, we know this information once again, this is a simulation, this is a world machine, but can we still save it regardless, and bring Nico back home? I guess the only time will tell. So... As usual, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time for Let's Play One Shot. Love you all so much. Have a great day. Thank you all for watching this video. If you enjoyed what you saw, feel free to leave a comment, a like, and subscribe for future content, where I aim to release a video a day. And if you do subscribe, make sure to click on the bell symbol to be notified once new videos are uploaded. You can also catch me streaming from time to time on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, and join my Discord server to relax with other gamers. All this information is in the description box below. Have a great day.